host, Scott Burns team. We're going to give some more one percenter reporting. We're going out to Kansas City, Missouri, and it looks like there's been a blockade put up for the Blue Wave, the Pagans Motorcycle Club, uh, Kansas City chapter. Went down in a big federal racketeering case, uh, drugs, weapons, money laundering, etc. cetera, uh, out of uh, a federal court in Missouri last week. 18, I believe, 18 pagans were taken into custody. Uh, charges uh, are, there's quite a bit of violence in the, um, in the indictment, uh, beatdowns of rival Bikers, a shooting that took place on a Kansas City highway. The top two defendants in this case, they're not named as the president and vice president, but they're the top two names in the indictment. So I'll, I'll, I'll mention them, but I don't know what real position they hold in the club. Chris McGowan, a.k.a. Big Mac, uh, is the number one defendant. And then Arthur Reynolds, who they call Straight Edge, is the number two defendant. Uh, McGowan is in a lot of these charges uh, almost all of them and uh reynolds makes uh, makes his way into uh, a number of the other you know uh, predicate acts of violence uh between uh, the years 2021 and 2023 so i'm not real familiar with the pagans history in kansas city um i know the pagans were initially in the midwest uh you know, 15 years ago uh, into certain kind of areas where the South meets the Midwest um, was their first kind of entree into, uh, you know, past the going West of the Mississippi, uh, moving away from the East coast, mid Atlantic, mid Atlantic region where their roots are. Um, not sure when Casey opened up its chapter, but uh, 18 guys, Kansas City's a, a major a major market, a major kind of artery in terms of uh, crisscrossing the country. You know, coming through Missouri, you're kind of, you know, passing from West Coast to East Coast or East Coast to West Coast. Uh, Conan Richter is on his way. Uh, Conan the Barbarian, uh, president's uh, boss, national president. Architect of the Blue Wave. He's finishing up uh, his prison sentence. He should be out by the holidays or early 25 at the latest. Um, but this is a bump in the road. It's not unheard of. But, uh, you know, they're, they're going to have to deal with charges out of federal court, uh, charges that bring with it prison time and possibly harsh prison time because uh, you're, you're talking about on, on um, discharging a firearm in the uh, process of a felony which is, uh, you know, you could be looking at 10 years for that. So we'll see. I'll, I'll keep you updated as this thing makes its way through the court system. But uh, uh, close to two dozen pagans, members of the Blue Wave campaign in Kansas City, Missouri, at the Kansas City chapter of the pagans, uh, indicted last week by the feds, drugs, guns, violence, the usuals. So, uh that's our one uh, percent update right now. Please check back uh, for all the latest breaking news when it comes to one percenters, uh, La Cosa Nostra, drug kingpins, mafia biker wars. We got it. We got it uh, popping here, twenty four seven. Please check out the Patreon. We're doing some exclusive stuff on there, more analytical, um, a little bit less. Um, it's, it's not like the YouTube. YouTube's going to be what it is, um, and the Patreon's going to be a little bit different. And then just like, subscribe, share, spread the word about OG Pod. Scott Bernstein, I'm out.